Hi everyone, thanks for coming into the Lilac Broom tonight. I'm doing an Aquarius tarot card reading for the month of December 2021. Aquarians, I always feel like I'm catching you guys with your hands in the cookie jar. What are you up to? You know, we all know you guys are, you're not the babies of the Zodiac, but you really ought to be. You're kind of like, you're kind of like the second oldest kid in the family of out of four who, you know, you're not the baby, but for some reason you're always stirring the shit. Aquarius, you know I love you because I'm a Leo and you guys are my opposite sign, so, you know, me and Aquarius get along like peas and carrots. I love Aquarians. I, I truly do. Some of my favorite people are Aquarius. But that being said, let's find out what the tarot has in store for you for the month of December 2021. There's 72 cards in a tarot deck, guys. I'm giving you 10 tonight. Let's see which 10 the universe decided are yours. Hmm. Interesting. So, I feel, Aquarius, you find yourself in one of those rare periods in your life where you are feeling deep and you're, you're diving deep and your soul is stirred up and you're feeling a lot of emotions and the emotions are right up at the surface. And now, and now I'm going to find out why. Um, some of you in the recent past may have just moved away from your family's home or your family of origin's home. Maybe you moved away from home. Um and also maybe gave up some stability and financial opportunities, you know, basically took some kind of risk maybe. I'm not quite clear on it yet. Um, and it's kind of got you, this is just a minor piece, but it's kind of got you in a little bit of a mood. Like maybe it's because the holidays are here, so you're just kind of like, you're in a bit of a mood because you're like, I'm Aquarius, I do for myself, I do what I want to do. But, you know, now it's the holidays and everybody wants a piece of my, you know, pie. They want some money for this, that, or the other. I need to buy Christmas presents or whatever it is. And there's like a, a feeling of being pulled away from going out and getting your... You're fun, like get, Aquarians are, all, you're seeking fun, but these things are a little bit of a restriction and you've had like a little minor setback of some sort. And of course, there's gonna be plenty of good luck coming in your future because why not? Because you're Aquarius. You know, sometimes we just hate you guys, okay? <laughs> sometimes it's like, okay, Aquarius, you know, how come you have to get everything your way? Some of the rest of us would like a turn on the seesaw if that's okay. Um, but that's that's the energy I'm getting from your cards. It's like you're showing up in one of the most emotional patterns that I could ever expect to see in, in your center of your reading. And yet there's this, the universe is telling me through the cards, everything's going to work out fine. So now I have to tell you like, yeah, you're in this like emotional roller coaster kind of scenario, but everything's going to turn out fine. And I'm saying that other signs of the zodiac probably are looking at you, Aquarius, and saying, well, how come those fuckers always land on their feet? You're like a cat with nine lives. Now, it's funny because because you're in that like emotional state, you, Aquarius, you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world and you're you know, you've got so much responsibility and so many people counting on you, but the reality of it, like, I'm going to be very honest with you, Aquarius, the reality of it is that, like, other people around you probably do this much work all the time, and they're used to having to put that kind of effort in, and you're just kind of a little bit selfish, and you're just used to not having to make those that kind of effort. So I think maybe if it's helpful for you to know this feeling of discomfort, this feeling of being 
in a place of so much is being expected of you is kind of normal and maybe should become a little more your normal. I'm not preaching at you. You can do what you want with it, but I think if anything, I'm, I'm trying to say to you, you're okay. It's just that sometimes responsibilities can have a heavy weight and some of the rest of us are used to carrying those where Aquarians are like, meh, I'm not gonna do it. Um, And Aquarius, not that I think you need to know this or hear it, but there are many people admiring you. You know, a lot of people are very fond of you. I think that, you know, because you are in this emotional state, you're starting to magnetize towards you, yourself, towards yourself, some... Uh, for lack of a better way of putting it, I'm going to say bad luck, right? But it's really, it's a karmic reaction. It's we bring towards us what we put out. If emotionally and mentally we're worried about stuff and we're fretting and we're, you know, um, struggling with things, well, we're going to invite more struggle in. In this case, I think you are worried about a matter that may be connected to finances or or a, yeah, finances or like a legal type situation because the justice card is here. So there's something, you know, that is a, you know, it could go, uh, there's that seesaw again. It could go either way and for once Aquarian, you're not really getting your way. Yeah. So the situation as it is does have to break down. So if you're feeling, this is a good example of, you know you need to go have a root canal or go see a dentist or go see a doctor, or get that looked at, whatever it is, and you put it off and put it off and put it off, but now the moment has come where you've gotta pay the piper, okay? Because the situation is going to break down. You know, and, and some people are going to go after you with a very sharp tongue. You're going to you're going to hear people's real feelings and emotions. I'm getting us like a, a feeling of like um, when someone in the public eye does something that their constituents, if they're like a, you know, like a representative or something, um, you know, they do something that a lot of people don't approve of and then everybody just comes out of the woodwork and they're like with all their nasty commentary that is definitely going to come towards you in the future but you are going to be fine and honestly it's not some of it might be a little unfair you maybe you didn't deserve it maybe you did maybe you didn't for some of you yes for some of you maybe not but i want to emphasize this piece that i'm going to i'm going to I don't believe in luck personally, but I'm going to use that phrase for your benefit. Like, it feels like luck is on your side. So, although you may not get everything you want in a situation, you still land on your feet. <laughs> like, almost to the point where it's like you didn't deserve something, but you're still going to get it. <laughs> that's that's what I'm trying to say. That is exactly what I'm trying to say. Not that I don't think that you deserve things, Aquarian. Of course you do. I'm not sure that I'm making sense. I guess I'm saying you have a tendency. The universe has a tendency to favor you, Aquarius, and to give you things. And it's probably because inside you magnetize it to yourself by, by being kind of like aloof and carefree and like, I don't care either way if it comes or if it doesn't which is a good way to be within reason. But in this case, as I said in the very beginning, you, you're struggling with something emotional, something that's weighing on you, something that is kind of dragging you down. It's sort of stealing your naturally good vibe. And then what happens? Well, we magnetize to us what we are feeling inside. So that's what's happening. <sighs> You know, Aquarians always have like a light feeling. La la la. Dee dee dee. 
I can't help it, guys. I'm sorry. Hopefully you guys know I mean that with love. I do. I don't have much Aquarius in my chart, but I cannot emphasize it enough. You guys are my opposite sign. I'm very fond of you. All right, if you want a private reading, let me know. I know you don't because you're Aquarians and you don't care, and that's fine. <laughs> but if you do, you know how to find me. But thank you for tuning into the video tonight. Namaste.